Escaping politics in the Philippines. Um, this is an interesting one because it's something nobody really talks about. The reality is, when you go to the Philippines, you're disconnected from everything. Um, well, even in Spain, where, when that attack in Tunisia happened, I remember getting back and people were oh, did you hear about it? They know nothing about it. Because in Spain, the media is very local, um, from what I've seen. Well, the channels we watch, we watch things about the local police arresting people for drug abuse and stuff like that. Um, we don't actually see much on the international circuit. And to be honest, with the state of the media these days, what have I lost? Oh, absolutely nothing. Um, the local media is actually more interesting. Why? Because the local media has no real political agenda. Um, it's just stuff people are up to, uh, which is amusing sometimes. Um, but the point here being, you go to the Philippines, you stop hearing about it unless you go looking for it in the news and stuff. And I'll, say, I'll tell you now, if you left it, don't go looking for it. There is no benefit from the media these days. The media um, is political bias. The BBC used to be an amazing um, source of information. It's it's the pits now, and you can see it in the stories. It's almost it's sold its soul. It's like um, I don't know what's going on there because obviously it's having these major cuts as well. So obviously the conservatives ain't too happy with them. Um, but either way, it was not supposed to be a political. Uh, piece of leverage that's what the BBC was for it was supposed to be a proper um, source of information now it's it's politically motivated so the Philippines removes that Pl the Philippines removes all the the nonsense from your life because I'll tell you what it becomes less complicated Life is less complicated in the Philippines because you're not interested in the buy one get one free or anything else or the latest sales because most of the time you will find you do not watch Filipino TV. Um, myself, I don't watch TV anyway. Even here, I'm in the hotel. This TV hasn't been on today. Um, wasn't on yesterday. Uh, hasn't been. In fact, it hasn't been on this week. Um, I don't watch TV. I don't see the value in it. I see it as a dumbing down process. But anyway, in the Philippines, you disconnect yourself from the media. Disconnecting yourself from the media allows you to focus on positive stuff. Um, and when I say that, I say it, I say it in a very positive way because... I'm not anti-negative, by the way, because if you look at LinkedIn, for example, there is no negativity on there because it's people selling themselves blatantly day in, day out. Um, it is, it's either vulgar or stupid. I'm not sure. Um, I know I'm on LinkedIn and I post some negative stuff in there. It never gets any feedback. But it, I, I do it to sort of show the fact is these people are so narrow-minded that they're sold on. Don't be negative. We only have positives in here. Um, which can often bankrupt a business <laughs> because negativity is something that a lot of people don't understand properly because a problem is not negative. A problem is something that needs a solution. Um... Being negative is when somebody goes, what's the point? That, that That's negative. But going, we're losing half a million pounds a year, is not being negative. It's a fact, which you need to sit there and go, okay, how are we going to recover it? Different scenarios. But I've sort of moved across off on tangent again. Um, but all this stuff is irrelevant in the Philippines. It really is. You'll spend more time... Um, concerned about the price of beer in the local area. <laughs> also, you'll work out which places are the have the coldest beer. 
that will be more important than what's going on in ABS, CBN, or uh, Fox News, or something, or the BBC, because all of those do not matter. They have no impact on your life anymore. They're not going to change in a way that's going to impact you in the Philippines. So just ignore them. Simple as that. You get on better. The fact is, you're happier for it because you're not getting these people constantly like prodding you with things that are supposed to annoy you because they're trying to do something for politics. Once you ignore it and it's gone and your your TV doesn't have it and you're not taking an interest in it, you're not looking for it, um, you're a happy person. <laughs> Thanks for watching.